Ontario Premier Doug Ford has broken his silence about this week's federal election. He sat down for an interview on CP24 this morning where he addressed a variety of topics including his relationship with the re-elected Prime Minister. CTV's Queen's Park Bureau Chief Colin DeMello has more. For the past year, the relationship between Premier Doug Ford and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been acrimonious at best. But Monday night's election results seem to have changed things. Both leaders are now striking a conciliatory tone. Uh, the day after the election, we had a, a good conversation, and uh, I was pretty blunt. I, I told him, okay, we're, we're done with the politics now. I get it. Not, not a problem. Uh, people expect us to work together. Speaking uh, on CP24 for the first time since the election, Ford dissected the Ontario electorate and realized that he and Trudeau have something in common. Uh, a tremendous amount of people, and I said this on the phone to him, a tremendous amount of people that voted for me voted for him. But the friendly new tone will be tested in the days to come, particularly when it comes to the carbon tax. The Ford government is challenging the constitutionality of the tax and is taking that fight to the Supreme Court. Today, Ford suggested, despite Trudeau's new mandate, he is not backing down. Uh, we are going to pursue it. Uh, again, I, I ran on uh, making life more affordable. I ran on making sure we're more competitive in, in businesses. So we'll see it through and see what happens. That position could also play well in Western Canada, where resentment has built up over the slumping oil sector and the carbon tax. It has led to a small but growing Western separatist movement, which Ford calls a tough situation. This country is divided like I've never seen before. And uh, I'm great friends with all the other premiers, get along extremely well, I've talked to them. And uh, we're going to unite this country. Ontario has to step up and unite the country. Um, and I always say what, what, what is good for Canada is good for Ontario, and what's good for Ontario is good for Canada. And for now, what's good for the country, he believes, is a willingness to work together. During the election campaign, the Trudeau Liberals also extended an olive branch to the Ford government, offering to pay for a portion of Ford's Ontario line. That is a legacy line for Doug Ford, and one that he needs the federal government's support to get built. At Queen's Park, Colin DeMello, CTV News.